Hello, this is Teresa Weber. I'd like to uh, give you a real short demonstration on how to use some of the resources um, available at the Bayfield Library. This is our homepage that you see in front of you here. If you take your cursor and you go up to How To, now you see there's a drop-down list of things. The first one, search the library catalog. If you click on that, now what you get here, um, new fiction is here. You can switch that to be other categories, children's fiction, um, new movies. You can explore all those different ways. But what, um, what I'd like you to do is to first go to login. Um, I think it's uh, a good idea to log in on your home computer each time that you use the catalog. So if you log in, you'll see your name has to be exactly as it is in our catalog. If you have any questions about that, just call and we'll be happy to tell you how your name is listed. Uh, this is my library number. I'm not going to show that to you, but you can see, um, you can enter yours there. Uh, if I click this, it would show the password. It's a long number, so you can use that to check that you've typed it in correctly. Um, but I suggest always for people to hit Remember Me. It makes it a lot easier when you come in the next time to not have to redo this information. Once you have it in there, click Log In. And now it's logging me in. Okay, here we are. You see what pops up over here. Uh, this is me, of course. I have seven items checked out. Um, I have nine titles on hold, and it keeps your reading history. Um, this has been very convenient for me. If I'm trying to remember something that I read or a movie that I watched and I just can't come up with the name of it, well, I can um, go through my history and get that information. Uh, so, But here we are. Uh, in the catalog. And a couple of things I was going to show you. Um, let's search for a book, Wintering. Hit enter. And now I'm going to get a list of books with that title. Although this is very good, that's not what I'm looking for. There are others here. This is the one that I have been wanting to read. So I could do um, a couple of things. I could place a hold, and we're going to do that in just a minute. But currently what I'd like to show you is I want to add to list. So I click on there. And now I have uh, created a, a short list right now of books I want to read. Of course, now here's where you would click to, to make a new one. I want to read this book, so I'm going to save it to my list. And it was successfully done. If I click View My List, um, you'll get the books that I have in my queue wanting to read. And look at, there you are, Wintering. Very good. Okay. Now, if I want to um, search for a book and to check out, check it out. Well, then let's see. This is just the first book that came into my mind, so I'm just going to type that in. Okay, and here um, is you see the title, uh, and here Bayfield Adult Fiction, and it is currently on our shelf. Uh, if I click that, you'll see. There are a lot of copies of this book in the system. If they are lighter like this, they are checked out, and then the darker green means they are available. So um, I just, you don't have to do that. I just think that's kind of interesting to see. There's also a CD unabridged. Again, Bayfield has that. There's a large print. And then Overdrive is the electronic books or audiobooks. Um, but currently, for this uh, reason of uh, explanation, I'm just going to say I would like to put this book on hold 
So I have the title that I want. I'm going to go to Place Hold. Okay, so I want to double check that I have the library. If you see here, I could click any one of these and have it delivered to any of the Northern Waters Library, but Bayfield is what I want. You may have to choose that the first time. I'm really not sure. Uh, and then submit hold request. And there, uh, there it is. It has been saved for me. Okay. So that's, that's a simple process. Uh, and you can peruse and find what you're looking for. There's all these different um, options uh, in ways in which to um, search things that are available. Um, and one other thing I was going to do is if I pull this up, click there. Yeah, here. It gives you a description of the book right here. Um, it says more like this. That's pretty uh, a great uh, resource to be able to use. Um, there are information here. Uh, I'm going to do a demonstration on Novelist soon, but I just let's just click on this and see what we get. A whole list. If you really like the gentleman in Moscow, any one of these might be uh, a book that you would be interested in. And then you can uh, click on that. And here's a one we can see who has it. Just a few libraries, but it's available at all of them. And if I want it, I could place this hold. successfully. All right, I hope this was helpful.